Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. And that is actually the longest word in the English alphabet. And what is it? And well, it's more commonly known as sil uh, silicosis. So here's what happens in this condition, is this occurs when someone breathes in basically too much silica. So it occurs when someone breathes in too much silica. And this is going to be something that's going to happen over a long period of time. It's not just like you do it once, unless you're at it by a volcano. I'm going to get that, to that in just a minute. When someone breathes in too much silica. So basically, silica is basically the most abundant mineral that's in our Earth's crust. So a lot of times when a volcano blows, if someone's near that volcano and they breathe in all that silica, what's going to happen is they will get this condition. But not only does it happen in people like that, this is gonna be something, well first, before we get to that, silica is found in sand. It's found in sand. All right, so the people who are most likely to get this are not only people who are by a volcano, which is very, very rare for people to be by a volcano, but for the most part, you can find this in people who do sandblasting. All right, so this can be found in sandblasters, it can be found in miners, right? People who work in mines, it's also gonna be found in construction workers as you dig up the ground, right? So, and then just any other place that you might be in contact with this. Let me see, construction workers, right? Okay, so that's who we're basically gonna find this in. So what's going to happen now is as people breathe this in, imagine that you have like sandpaper. Imagine walking on sandpaper, or if you rub sandpaper on your skin. Well, that's basically what is gonna happen here with the silica, right? Like we said, it's found in sand, but this is gonna basically rub against your bronchial tubes and your air passages.